Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996 and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. HUD regularly offers incentives to buyers like the $100 down payment program and 50% off for certain buyers. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in beautiful New Braunfels, Texas. New Braunfels is located between Austin on the way to, between Austin and San Antonio. It's actually up 35 on the way to Austin. It's a beautiful little town. Property values have been skyrocketing here. We are standing in front of 871 Mayberry Mill. That's 871 Mayberry Mill. This is a big and beautiful five bedroom, three bath home approximately 2,766 square feet. It was built in 2014, and it sits on a large corner lot. The lot is about 6,100 square feet. The exterior of this home is a combination of brick and hardy plank. It's in really good condition exterior-wise. It really doesn't need much, being just a few years old. It's also about $10,000 underneath the county appraisal. And this is the Highland Grove neighborhood. We're actually on the south end of New Braunfels closer to San Antonio than New Braunfels proper. The home itself, as I said, exterior-wise is in great condition. You have this little tiny porch here, decent landscaping. It's sort of hilly out here, and it's a beautiful day to preview homes. Let's look at the backyard and we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard off of a door from your living room, and it's pretty standard backyard. One thing I do like about this back area here is that they have a really nice back patio here, a slab. They did not construct a back kind of covered deck area, but you definitely could, it looks like, because they have the slab already started. Other than, that, other than that, it's a pretty basic backyard. No trees. You could definitely put a pool in with ease. So let's take a look at the inside. Well, before we walk in, it has a very pretty State of Texas Star lead glass door. When we step in the entryway, you'll notice that most of the downstairs does have ceramic tile, which is nice. It's a pretty neutral tile, and I think you could probably salvage that. I also like that it has crown molding. Now, when we walk in, if we turn to the left here, we actually have bedroom number one right up front. It does have a bedroom on the first level, which I think is nice. It's gonna just need a little bit of touch-up painting on the walls. Another nice uh, feature about this home is it does have a full bathroom. So the, the, the uh, setup like this, it's a shower and tub combo with a single vanity. It's nice if you have maybe a mother-in-law living with you, maybe an elderly person that doesn't want to go upstairs because they have their own full bedroom and their own full bath downstairs. Now there's a little uh, coat closet here. It is missing the door, but that's pretty easy to fix. And then one other thing, this door into this bedroom does have a little crack in it. So you want to probably replace and add a few doors. If we continue in, before we get into the main living area and we turn to the right here, we do have an indoor laundry room. So your washer and dryer connections are here inside. I think that's a nice feature. It is set up with, for an electric dryer only. And then we have your two car garage. Pretty standard two car garage. It is set up to have a water softener installed if you'd like. Now, if we were to come in from the garage, we then have your big open living concept here, which is basically your kitchen, your family room, and your dining room all combined into one big open space. The kitchen does have granite countertops, which you can see are pretty nice. It has a really pretty backsplash, a recessed area here for your refrigerator. You do have a nice sized little pantry, and then your electric range, your sink, and your dining area would be here, your living area here. I like the recessed area in the ceiling. And then we come over and another perk about this home is that your master bedroom is downstairs. Now that's pretty important when it comes to resale. Typically homes with the master on the first floor that are two-story homes do tend to sell a little bit quicker. Uh, this uh, master is missing the ceiling fan. It looks like they put a basic light fixture in there. Easy enough to change. We come over to your master bath. The master bath does have dual vanities, which is very nice. We then have your separate big garden tub and stand-in shower, which is pretty. And then we have your walk-in closet. It's actually a really good sized closet. And then additional storage underneath that little staircase. I'm not sure if you can see it with the lighting, but could definitely be a little uh, hidden area. If you wanted to put some valuables in there, you could probably really disguise that pretty neatly. Now I do like the wrought iron balusters that go up the staircase and we'll make our way upstairs to the additional bedrooms. 
Carpeting on the staircase will probably need to be replaced. It's pretty well worn. When we get upstairs, you have a huge upstairs second living area. A big game room if you want. There's a little coat closet here on the left, and then we come over to bedroom number three. Bedroom number three, good size bedroom. Needs a fresh coat of paint and a little bit of flooring. Down the hallway here to the left, we have bedroom number four. Bedroom number four, show you the closet there. Good size bedroom also is going to get a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. And then bedroom number five. Bedroom number five, same thing. All of the bedroom painting, you know, I know I'm saying it's going to need painting in the bedrooms, but the paint's actually in decent condition in the bedrooms. And let me give you an idea of how hilly it is out here. I'm not sure if you can see off in the distance, but there's a nice hill line over there. This is just a beautiful drive if you want to be between San Antonio in Austin. Uh, let me show you there's a wall needs some painting and then we have your full bath number three here which is comprised of dual vanities and a shower and tub combo. It's a little dark and that's about it guys. Fantastic home. Let me give you a summary. Well there it is 871 Mayberry Mill. That's 871 Mayberry Mill. A beautiful big five bedroom three bath home up in New Braunfels. Don't forget HUD is offering a $100 down payment option on this home. It is in really good condition, just needs a little tiny bit of flooring and some tiny trim work, maybe a fresh coat of paint in some of the bedrooms and you're ready to move, be moved into. This home is about $10,000 underneath the county appraisal, listed right now for only $235,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King and I wanna help you find your castle.